Now we come to the aim number two. In aim number two, we are going to discuss solving of verbal problems involving linear equations in one variable. Some steps need to follow to solve verbal problems involving linear equations in one variable. The first step is we have to read the problem carefully and identify quantity asked for quantity asked for we have to identify quantity asked for and the second step is this quantity asked for denote as variable x r y r z etc third step is using the given data in the problem establish the relation between unknowns that means variables and known points in the given problem then we will get a simple linear equation in one variable or a simple equation. After that forming of forming of simple equation. This is the third step. Fourth step solving solution of simple equation last step is verify need to verify verify now again in the same number 2 what we are going to discuss is the solution of verbal problems using the knowledge of the simple equations. First of all, in first step, we have to read the problem carefully and we have to identify quantity asked for. In the second step, we have to denote that quantity asked for as x or y or z as we like. In third step, using these variables and known points in the given problem, we have to forming, we have to form simple equation. In the fourth step, using the learned methods, how to solve the simple equations, we have to find the solution. And the fifth step is verifying. Now we are going to see such type of problems here. Now first two problem, let us see the first problem, given that sum of two numbers is equal to eighty. Ratio of these two numbers, ratio of these two numbers is equal to 3 is to 5. Now find the numbers that is the requirement. Find the numbers. Let one number be solution for this. Keep those five steps in your mind. 
after that try to get the solution for this word problem let the number be x bx then other number b at minus x y because of sum of two numbers is equal to 80 if if i take one number as x automatically other number will be 80 minus x now again given ratio between these two numbers that is x by 80 minus x is equals to 3 by 5 now solve for x 5x is equals to cross multiplication 5x is equals to 3 into 80 minus x using systematic method 5x is equal to 240 minus 3x 8x is equal to 240 x is equal to 30 x is equal to 30 therefore those two numbers are therefore two numbers are two numbers are x comma 80 minus x therefore two numbers is equal to 30 comma 80 minus 30 is equal to 30 comma 50 this is the answer let us see one more problem related to this concept the sum of three constitutive natural numbers is 114 second problem sum of three constitutive natural numbers is equal to 114 find the numbers that is the requirement find the numbers solution let one number be x because of what is the unknown here number is the unknown we have to find the number so that that unknown quantity we have to identify that should be taken as one variable x then other two numbers are then other two numbers are x plus 1 comma x plus 2 why x plus 1 comma x plus 2 because of three consecutive natural numbers these are three consecutive natural numbers if the first number is x then the second number successor of that x is x plus 1 and the successor of x plus 1 is x plus 2 so that x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2 are 
three consecutive natural numbers. And what is given in the, in the problem? We are going to establish the relation between the knowns and the given information in the problem. That is given x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 114, 114, 114. Now, x plus x plus x, 3x plus 1 plus 2, 3 is equal to 114. Using the knowledge of the systematic method of solving linear equations in one variable, solve it, then what do you get there? That implies that 3x is equal to 114 minus 3, which is equal to 3x is equal to 1, 1, 1. That implies that x is equal to 1, 1, 1 by 3. 3, 3 is 9. And 2, 21 is there. 3, 7 is 21. Therefore, x is equal to 37, one number is equal to 37 and the other two numbers we will get as 37 plus 1, 37 plus 2, 38, 39. Therefore, finally, those three consecutive natural numbers are 37, 38, 39. Next come to the third problem in aim number 2, another type of the third problem. And what do you observe in all these problems? You have to take, you have to identify first what is the quantity you asked for and establish the relation between the unknown quantities and known quantities. So that one more problem related to the mensuration. The length of the rectangle is 5 centimeters more than its breadth. The length of rectangle is 5 centimeters more than its breadth. And also given that if the perimeter of the rectangle is 40 centimeters, perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 40 centimeters. Now find the area of the rectangle, that is the requirement. This is the third problem. Now solution for this third problem. Here what are the unknowns? To find the area of the rectangle, we have to find length of the rectangle and breadth of the rectangle. If you know these two, then we can find the area of the rectangle using the formula of length into breadth. Let us take breadth of rectangle be x centimeters because of if you observe the units are in centimeters that is why you have to take breadth is equals to x centimeters. Then what will be the length according to the given problem? Length is equal to 5 centimeters more than its breadth so that it becomes as x plus 5 centimeters. Now, and also given that perimeter, perimeter is nothing but perimeter of the rectangle is given as 40 centimeters. Therefore, we have the formula to find the perimeter of the rectangle that is 2 into 
breadth plus length is equal to 40 2 into breadth is x length is x plus 5 which is equal to 40 that implies that 2x plus 5 is equal to 20 that implies that 2x is equal to 15 by 2 15 that implies that x is equal to 15 by 2 x equals to 15 by 2 what is x there breadth equals to x therefore breadth is equals to x by 2 is equal to 15 by 2 centimeters length is equal to Fifteen, no, no, therefore x is equal to fifteen by two. What is x there? Breadth. Breadth is equal to x is equal to fifteen by two centimeters. Therefore, length is equal to fifteen by two plus 5 which is equal to 25 by 2 centimeters therefore area of the rectangle is equal to area of rectangle is equal to 15 by 2 into 25 by 2 centimeters square which is equal to 15 5s are 75, 15 2s are 30, 37, 375 by 4 centimeters square. Therefore, this is the area of the rectangle with the given information. Okay, Nandi?